Hello and welcome to another video by Haste Computer Repair. And today I'll be upgrading a Lenovo ThinkPad T480 laptop with a 2.5 inch SATA 3 480GB solid state drive and 16GB of DDR4 2400MHz RAM. So before we start, we should boot into BIOS and disable the built-in battery. So we'll do this by powering on and immediately hitting the enter button. And once you're greeted by this menu, you can hit F1 to enter BIOS. And now you want to navigate over to the config menu, scroll down to power, and then go down to disable built-in battery. Press enter and do you want to proceed? Yes. Now we're ready for service. So I went through that process because there's one internal battery in the T480 and there's also one external. Some models may vary and you might not have an internal battery installed, but this one does. So it's a safe bet to disable it in BIOS. So we can remove the external battery. And next you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver to remove one, two, three, four, five, six screws. And now we can use something like a plastic guitar pick or this plastic iFixit tool to score along the palm rest and remove the back panel. All right, as you can see, here is the internal battery, which is connected to the motherboard with this cable. And now we'll start by removing the solid state drive, which is just in this little plastic caddy and uh, with a connector that runs a cable to the motherboard right here so it is good to be gentle i'm going to do this without removing the cable from the motherboard there's no screws just uh gently pull up or use the tool appropriately so what we have here is a 180 gigabyte intel solid state drive the reason why we're upgrading to this ssd is not necessarily for the speed i think it'll be pretty similar um, it's more for the drive capacity. Okay, now let's move on to the RAM. There is currently one stick installed here, which is a RAM XL 8GB, and we'll be replacing that with matching dual channel RAM sticks. Now, before we do that, I'd like to remove the CPU heatsink and heat pipe and we'll do some service here. We'll put some new thermal paste on and also clean any dust out of this fan. Okay, and now for the RAM. Just a quick note, there is a NVMe adapter too that you can connect to the motherboard if that may be your model shipped with or you can order off someplace like eBay. Um, also there's this M.2 slot that is called the WWAN slot. You can also use a M.2 SATA 3 SSD like this Transcend one here and you can use that to dual boot or install your boot drive onto etc. So there are some different options. Let's get to packaging this back together and we'll install Windows 11. All right, check it out. Windows 11 is installed and running great. Having that quad core CPU is a real bonus and 16 gigabytes of RAM makes for a very speedy system. Um, I'm a big fan of it. So hopefully this video helped you out and let me know in the comments if you feel like I left anything out, or if you'd like to learn more, hit me up and we can talk. Alright, I hope you have a great day, and as always, thanks a lot for watching.